Japanese government is showing signs once again of attempting to downplay its wartime atrocities and the use of forced laborers from Korea during its colonial rule of the country. According to the Japanese daily Asai Shimbun, the Foreign Ministry's Director General for Cultural Affairs, Jun Shin Mi, on Wednesday briefed some ruling party lawmakers on this very matter. He told them about the follow-up measures the ministry will take to honor the victims who died at some of the wartime industrial sites that were added to UNESCO's World Cultural Heritage List earlier this month. He said the ministry plans to include everyone who suffered in the coal mines or factories, regardless of their nationality. Now, the newspaper interpreted the statement as meaning the scope of the victims may include not only Koreans, but also Japanese. And this obviously raises concerns from Korea that the issue of Korean forced labor may not be clearly introduced in the historical background for these facilities.